not long ago, I did a review on the Monte Cristo Grupo de, Ma Grupo de Maestros, uh, batch number two. Uh, that cigar had been hanging around in my box sometime since 2016. Uh, but recently, a couple of months ago, the third batch came out. And that's what we're going to talk about today on Lance Life. And if I get rock for my kids, is that real? Even though what we do is wrong. We still hustle till the sun come up. Crack a 40 when the sun go down. It's a cold winter. Y'all better bundle up. And I better be a hotter summer wrap on onion just to rock it down. In January 2015, Monte Cristo came out with their first group of the Maestros batch. Uh, the cigars were uh, created from a blend that the blenders of a group of the, the group of the Maestros, some of the blenders at uh, Altadis, where the Monte Cristo Dominican uh, Monte Cristos are made, uh, they, it's kind of like their own personal blend. I think at the time. The age of all of the blenders totaled uh, something like 300 years of cigar uh, blending experience. Well, uh, they repeated that success in 2016 when they came out with the Grupo de Maestros uh, Batch 2. Now, the blends were the same from 1 to 2 but the size of the cigars were a little different. And forgive me, I don't have the information on that. But in July 2017, the Grupo de, Ma de Maestros uh, Batch 3 uh, came out and it's got a different blend. So let me uh, show you the cigar uh, while I give you the blend. So the three is a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper with a Dominican binder and a filler composed of Dominican, Nicaraguan, and Peruvian tobaccos. The original had an Ecuadorian Sumatra wrapper with uh, an Olor binder from the Dominican Republic, a 2010 uh, vintage tobacco, uh, and a Nicaraguan filler combination of Jalapa Criollo 98 for uh, Viso, from the Viso section of the uh, of the plant, and Jalapa Corojo 99 Lejero. So that was that's the differences between uh, the two cigars from a blend perspective. So it's not the same cigar. It's also not producing the same quantity. The uh, uh, Grupo de Maestros batch one and two. The quantity was two 2,500 cigars. Mm. For this one. There are uh, 30,000 cigars, uh, I think 300 boxes of 100. Here's what this baby looks like. It's a very nice uh, Bellicoso, but let me go back to the film again. It's not real pretty. This is a $15 cigar, uh, definitely some flaws. You'll see me try to slide the cedar sleeve off uh, with one hand while I'm filling. Don't try that at home, you will ruin your cigar. That sleeve on this cigar is like a straight jacket on the Joker. Like it will not come off. Uh, so be very careful with that. You really do have to slowly uh, peel that thing off. Again, here's another good look at the cigar. Shape wise, good. The wrapper leaf, multiple color. There's that little pit thing right there that you can see. Not attractive. I'm hoping it tastes better than it looks. Here's my Cuban cutter with the nice uh, little hole in there just for the Bellicoso. As you can see, the tip goes through there. Nice snip, even cut. And let's get this thing lit and see what we got here. This thing looks like it doesn't want to light evenly. Like that's. Just doesn't look right. Um, hopefully, this thing will will correct itself. Now, 
the initial light, ugh, it's just not working right now. Um, it's got that acidic and metallic taste all, uh, right away. Now, could be because I used a butene lighter. I've got a little more butene in there because it wouldn't light, but I don't know. There it is. It's starting to uh, settle down out of that uh, that ugh, that was going on. So it, it's it very interesting. Um, prior to I guess 2014, I really hadn't smoked that many Monte Cristo cigars. Uh, I think the last really big, big, big purchase I made of Monte Cristo cigars was sometime back in, I'm going to say around 2008, when I brought a uh, porcelain jar full of the Monte Cristo, it was like a white label uh, 2000 Century Series. One day I'll... Uh, show you what the uh, porcelain jar looks like, but that's neither here nor there. But aside from that, I really haven't purchased a lot of Monte Cristo cigars. My rationale was, once I smoked the Monte Cristo number two from Cuba at 20 bucks, the Dominican uh, Monte Cristos at 18 and $17 just wasn't giving me uh, a comparable flavor for the price. I, I didn't feel like I was getting the value because I love that cigar. More recently, I've smoked a number of them. I've smoked the Monte by Monte Cristo. I've smoked the Private Batch by Monte Cristo. Um, and some others. I can't even think of the name right now. But I'm kind of starting to zero in on some good Monte Cristos that are giving me at least a value for the dollar. Uh, in fact, this past Saturday, I smoked uh, the, I think the African Cameroon Monte Cristo was gifted to me uh, by Omar, uh, a brother that owns East Square uh, Cigar and Tobacco Shop in uh, Wilmington, Delaware. So I've had a good number of these cigars. So I'm trying to zone in on something that's going to give me that right value. I don't want to pay for the band. I want to pay for the cigar. Getting back to the cigar. Um, having had a, a, this, a, having a bellicoso and clipping it like this means that despite the gauge, I think this is a 54 gauge, 56 gauge, I'm getting some concentrated smoke up here at the cap. Uh, because we've uh, uh, torched it there. So, uh, despite how narrow the cigar is, I'm getting cool smoke. That's what Big Gauge gives you, cool smoke. I'm not getting a lot of spice yet, as I would get or would expect from a Nicaraguan uh, filler, but I'm getting a lot of good flavor. I'm getting leather. Um... Uh, I'm going to say cocoa. It's a toss-up between cocoa and coffee, uh, but I'm going to say cocoa, and not because I'm getting sweetness, but because I'm getting some muted, muted activity going on. Yeah, I couldn't hear myself think with all the uh, uh, distraction going on beside me. But anyway, so I, I, I'm getting... Uh, leather, I'm getting some earth, earthy flavors, uh, and I'm going to say cocoa, not because of sweetness, but because of how creamy, a little bit of creamy earth flavor. So uh, I, I tend to think of of coffee as more acidic and bitter uh, with that beany, uh, dark bean note, but uh, I'm not getting that with this.
Now, some of the reviews I've seen, you don't get a good even char line. Uh, it, it, it's, it's doing okay for me, especially with that challenging light. I'm guessing that uh, if you have a challenging light where when you torch the tobacco and it all doesn't light up, that's going to lead to an uneven burn line. And if that characteristic of the tobacco continues up the cigar, you're going to get some uneven burn. I mean, so that's kind of expected. Uh, but so far, so good. It's really settled down. I'm giving it a medium flavor. I'm not getting uh, too much uh, beat up from the uh, ar array of uh, Nicaraguan tobacco. But I'm getting a good level of complexity. So that's, that's good. waiting for a wow factor to kick in um, and uh, I'm, and so far not getting a wow good cigar don't get me wrong it's a good cigar but I'm waiting for the wow so one of the things I've said I like is you know limited release cigar limited production cigars and burn line is starting to, to go a little bit there I'm not sure if I would, well, this is kind of a limited release cigar. You only get 300 boxes. You got 30,000 sticks. Uh, so while it's widely available, you're not going to see these cigars forever. I think it's also interesting that with them changing the blend from one and two, uh, they're going in a different direction. So... I've said many times, probably made up my mind about the cigar here, kind of made up my mind about the cigar. Good, complex, not great, won't, won't uh, wow me, wouldn't be something that, uh, uh, you know, I'd go run out and try to spend a paycheck on, but it is something that I'd like to have on hand uh, a, a couple not the best looking cigar either and I love bellicosos I mean that knot here on the side is just uh, that's just that's just not what you expect from a $15 stick I'm sorry uh, if you like Monte Cristo this is good this is something a little different like I said than the private batch 1 and 2 so if you've had private batch 1 and 2 by the group de maestros don't think that you're getting the same thing. I mean, go out and get the cigar because it's something different. This might be your wild factor cigar. That's cool. This is Charles Kelly from Lance Life. Peace out, Cub Scout.